Hey Virgo, what's going on? I hope you're super well. This is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be messages from your person for mid-August slash, um, you know, September, but it's timeless Virgo. So whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. You are so welcome here. Thank you so much for checking out the reading. Um, if you find it resonates with you, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe for me Virgo if you feel like doing that. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, Virgo, the link um, is uh, to my website is in the description box underneath the video. Um, so I've already shuffled the decks I'm going to use today, Virgo. And just a quick note about scammers in the comment section. Please don't phone any numbers. Um, please don't phone any numbers or click any links because it's not me, you know. All right, Spirit. So what would you like Virgo to know, please? What would Virgo's person like them to know, please? Boundaries. Okay, what else? Spiritual. And what else, please? Spirit. What's this one? Rekindle. Okay, and commitment at the bottom of the deck. So you have someone with commitment on their mind here, Virgo. They see you as the one they want to commit to. You have boundaries. Having sensible boundaries is important. And you have spiritual and rekindle. So spiritual, your spiritual journey is beginning and you have rekindle. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. This person might have a thing about boundaries, Virgo. Um, they might kind of have their defenses up a little bit or they may, may have when you met them. But you guys have something special here with spiritual journey. Like, you could physically be, you know, about to go on a trip or something together. You might meet this person on a trip or you might have met them on a trip, but mm, there's some kind of like life adventure that you're about to go on together. And also I feel very strongly you're going to grow together. Like one or both of you might have awakened, like, you know, had a spiritual awakening because of this person and you have rekindled here. So, you know, this person thinks about you a lot, Virgo like the moments that you've shared. I think there's a lot of daydreaming going on about this. They would love, I think, to reunite with you. I'm just going to pull one from this deck, Virgo. Best friends. God, that's so sweet. And you have queen <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. So either you make this person feel like a queen or they see you as a queen. And you have best friends here. Like this person... I mean, they see you, you know, it's a very close connection here. They really see you as like someone I think they really like talking to, you know. Um, maybe you guys have that mental connection that the, you know, Virgos really need. But they, I mean, there's, I really feel like they, they feel like they've lucked out with you. You know what I mean, Virgo? Because they feel like you're their best friend, which is really, I mean, that's, I love that. I think that's so important. All right, you have the Seven of Cups here. So this person thinks this is a little bit too good to be true, to be honest. Um, they might have had a lot of letdowns and disappointments in the past. Four of Wands. Okay, so... Yeah, look at that. Um, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to keep taking them from the bottom because you could just go on forever, but you have the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. This person has definitely had a heartbreak in the past, Virgo. That, like I said, they might have been quite defensive with you. This person's got their boundaries. Like, I think they've had to have boundaries. I mean, everybody does, right? But maybe this person didn't have good boundaries before, so they kind of got taken advantage of a bit because that's the exact energy of the Seven of Wands is, you know, because, see, because, see, if you look, there's like different stuff in the cups, right? Some of them are bad, some of them are good. Um, so it's kind of an energy of you're like, I don't know who I can trust. Because somebody has broken their heart in the past. This is why with the Four of Pentacles, they're keeping their, you know, their heart very guarded. But I, fe I feel they're healing with the Three of Swords here because they see they see a future with you is the thing. But it's almost like they don't allow themselves to fully dream about it. 
or they, they, it's like they, they don't allow themselves to fully accept it. You know what I mean? Because there's always that suspicion of like, this is going to be taken away from me. But with the four of wands, they, that's a commitment card. That's someone that you want to settle down with. Like, you know, I know not everyone wants to get married and stuff, but for this, you know, for argument's sake, someone, that they, you know, settling down, having children, marrying, moving in together, you know, the one, basically. All right, Spirit, what else would this person, what, what would Virgo's person like me to know, please? Whoa, okay. All right. Um, so, okay, with this Ten of Pentacles here, okay, definitely seeing you as someone long term, okay? Um, this person might have a bit of, you have the Devil card here, okay, um, and the Judgment card. So I feel this is something of a rebirth actually for this person you might be dealing with someone who has a bit of a fear of commitment they might wonder if they can if they are genuinely able to give you the commitment that you want um because they have this devil energy here so you have the the 10 with the devil they want it though virgo this commitment with you because the, the 10 of pentacles and the four of wands that's long term okay you know, that's seeing yourself doing the day-to-day -day stuff. There's like a lot of daydreaming going on here about the day-to-day, -day, you know, ha like, you know, having a home, settling down with you, you know, kids, marriage, you know, the full nine, the whole nine yards, right? And, and you have the judgment card here as well. So there's like a bit of a rebirth happening for this person. I feel they're releasing suspicions here. It's like they're releasing the part of themselves that says you can't have this with the devil, you know, the part of them that says like, oh, this won't work with this person, like it hasn't worked in the past or so won't work in the future, you know, um, and there's big decisions being made here. This person is nearly at the stage of closing down some kind of cycle here uh, in terms of what's going on in their past. You have the seven of swords here, so... Um, this person is leaving behind something that is not serving them, okay, with the Seven of Swords and yeah, Six of Swords underneath that, moving away into calmer waters. They might have been dealing with a player, Virgo, you have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck here, which I'm not even going to take him out. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands is someone kind of flaky, right? Very charming, you know, but flaky. Like a player, you know, they could have been dealing with a player, um, or they could have, they could have been dealing with someone that was very kind of in and out. They might have got ghosted, you know. They might have let themselves get their hopes up with this previous person, or previous people. This could be a cycle for this person, you know. Um, and then it was like, boom, they were gone, you know. So they're having a hard time trusting here, but you know, with the nine of cups, this is a wish fulfillment for this person. I feel they daydream a lot about this connection. All right, you got the temperance card here, Virgo. So I think this person would quite like to rush into this with you actually, but they're trying to temper themselves here. You know, the temperance card is all about patience. Look at that. If the temperance card and the justice card came out again. All right, so there's something here about balance. They're trying to get themselves back into balance. You know, with the temperance card, something's ended for this person. And they're trying to get themselves back into balance again, okay? Learning how to fill their own cup. And also with the Hierophant card here, you know, listening to their intuition. Um, like allowing help in from the universe, you know, allowing wisdom to come in from the universe, being guided by your higher self, by your intuition. They definitely see commitment with you though Virgo they're just a bit nervous that I think they've you know you're gonna be another player or like they've imagined it all or something like ace of pentacles they want this new beginning with you they kind of see this as like a gift like almost like you've the universe has kind of gifted them to you 
they may well be seeing this as their karma. You know, um, if they've been through a lot of crap in the past, um, Hierophant again, if they've been through a lot of stuff in the past, they could have been dealing with a Taurus in the past, um, that you're almost like their karma. You know what I mean? It's like you're their reward for all the crap that they went through in the past. But it's almost like they can't quite believe it. You know, you're too good to be true, Virgo. Um, okay, so how does this person feel about Virgo? How is this person feeling about Virgo, please? Oh my god. Alright, okay. So, right. Nine of Swords. Overthinking, being in your head, worrying, stressing out. Maybe some sleepless nights here, you know. Um, you know all about that energy of the night, Nine of Swords, Virgo. Because there's a fear of rejection here, okay. This person's... This is where the... I think there's a fear of commitment here, and I think it comes from a fear of rejection, essentially. But they love you, Virgo. We have the Ace of Cups here. They're in love with you. There's a lot of love, you know, with the Ace of Cups. That's like overflowing love. And they feel very guided towards you. You know, um, you have the Queen of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel this person has been waiting for someone like you to come in for a long time with that Seven of Pentacles. And it's almost like I said before, like you're their payoff because you have this Queen of Cups energy here, which is, she is the energy of someone who has had it bad in the past, you know? And she's had to establish good boundaries to survive. You know, you might be dealing with someone who's an empath. You might be dealing with, I mean, Queen of Cups energy is very soft, very sweet, very nurturing, but is taken advantage of because of that, right? So, you know, over the years, see how she's the only one with her cup closed in this suit. Um, over the years, you know, she's been taken advantage of, and then she, she learned how to have boundaries, right? Keep the cup closed. You know, don't give out to too many people. And it's attracting healthy relationships now. But, you know, I think they're tr she's, you know, with the Queen of Cups here, like, they're trying to kind of keep a lid on these emotions, I think, a bit here and kind of calm themselves down. So what actions is this person going to take towards Virgo, please? What action is this person going to take towards Virgo, please? Okay. You have the High Priestess and the Emperor. So they're going to be guided by their intuition here, Virgo. They're going to let their intuition guide them. You have the Emperor here. So this person is doing some leveling up for you. You know, there's, um, I want to say growing up. And not in a patronizing way, but it's like finally letting themselves become, you know, someone that can give you this four of wands and this ten of pentacles, like, this kind of energy. Okay, what actions is this person going to take towards Virgo, please? Queen of pentacles, grounding themselves, Virgo. This person is grounding themselves so they can, because that's your card. Um... Yeah, they're growing up, they're grounding their energy. You know, this person might be, uh, you have the Six of Pentacles here, they might be working on getting some money together for you. They could be, literally, this sounds stupid, right? But they could be literally figuring out how to keep a house. You know, uh, the Queen of Pentacles is a very homely energy. They might be figuring out, you know, how to, Basically, you know, act more like a proper person, right? Like clean the house, you know, balance their finances, eat healthily, exercise, this kind of thing. Maybe not daydreaming so much about this and trying to be more practical about how this is going to work with you guys, you know what I mean? What action is this person going to take towards Virgo, please, Spirit? Knight of Cups. So I'm going to leave the reading there because that is a beautiful card to end on because the Knight of Cups 
is an offer of love coming towards you, Virgo. Um, they're going to come in with like, you know, expressing their feelings. See, with the Ace of Cups here. Um, they're going to come in all grown up. All grown up and grounded and ready to kind of give you this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles that they see themselves having with you, you know. <laughs> expressing emotions, offering you some kind of love in the future, Virgo. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was a pleasure to read for you, as always, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you did enjoy it. And, you know, take care of yourselves, Virgo. Live in light.